Aloha, suns and waters. Let's see if I can get a little spread out. It's been, feels like a minute, but let's just do the damn thing. Got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, and the tower. Definitely was feeling that vibe. There's been a lot of tower moments. Just heard disaster striking in the household. Earlier when I was wanting to come on, I saw a bird flying around. And it landed on our tree and it was missing a leg. This kind of looks like that fucking leg. I feel like there could be someone in your corner that may have been wishing you good luck. Telling you to break a leg and you didn't know that they meant it literally. This could be somebody that you thought was on your team. Look at that. That's that public recognition, doing something out in the public where everyone's watching. And that's where that break a leg comes in, right? So <coughs> I feel like with that, whatever they did, whatever negative energies they sent your way, it kind of made you stop what you were doing. It's like they got in your head. What, were, what they were trying to do worked. Yeah, that came up in reverse. It's like whatever they were trying to do worked. And I feel like it worked in your favor. It worked in your favor in a way that you could finally say goodbye. You're no longer allowing this situation to keep you stuck. It's like that was the last straw I'm hearing. The last and the final straw. Somebody could be even walking away, leaving some of their belongings there. Maybe this person owed you money and you're just like, keep it. Yeah, look at that, walking away, keep it. It's like she's walking away empty-handed. I am feeling that vibe. That could have been something that, you know, kept someone lingering around. This came up in reverse. I feel like... I feel like whatever this is someone's telling this person to keep is actually something really sentimental to you. But I feel like you're in your knowing that the divines are not okay with this connection. Yeah, they're definitely not okay with it. They see how this connection was causing you to not make the proper adjustments and the right moves that you needed to make in life. There was a lot of deception, a lot of dishonesty, verbal abuse, mental abuse. Whatever was said and done, it kept you in hermit mode. But it's like whenever, whatever you're closed off to or whenever you stayed away from the things that you were used to. It gave you an opportunity to heal. It gave you an opportunity to come into balance with self. It's like somebody needed this tower moment to sit down and re-examine what was going on. Yeah, there's that tower. And it's <clears throat> divinely orchestrated divine intervention it's like somebody wasn't willing to acknowledge the space that they were in so the divines put everything on pause i'm seeing put the whole world on pause maybe this shit happened maybe things went off when covid first started 
And I feel like that's when they, they had to step in. It's like they literally had to put the whole world on pause so you could pause. So you could be open to new things coming in. It gave you the time to heal. It gave you the time to relax. And even... Creating this space within you, making you available to these new beautiful things coming in. Because I'm seeing a lot of clutter. There was no space for anything to come. Whether it's literal external clutter or internal clutter. Yeah, I just saw the star card flip out. Trying to flip out. Healing. You're healing. You're in your own zone. In deep contemplation, in deep meditation like somebody didn't let whatever this was get the best of them look at that the leg break a leg healing it's like that's what you know when somebody literally breaks a leg they need time to rest and recover so that's what you've been going through surrendering making the necessary sacrifices, seeing what needs to stay, what needs to go. What needs to stay, Daughter of Swords. And what needs to go is a self-sabotage. I'm seeing whatever's coming, whether it's a relationship, a job. I'm seeing, keep some things to yourself. I'm not getting naked on the first date. And this could be, you know, internal nakedness, like just telling them your whole lifestyle, your whole, um, your whole past. Yeah, and also the things that you value, you know, there could be some sort of misalignment that somebody overshares, which causes these narcissistic people to feed off the things someone shares to purposely align themselves with you. Wow, look at that. The fucking God of Pentacles. That gives me the purposely aligning themselves. Oh, you value these things? So do I. And I feel like somebody caught, somebody will be catching someone in the act. And walking away from it. Somebody could be reminiscing about how they wish they had more boundaries. Look at that, the path is clear. You have to go, you have to go through this alone, whatever this is. Somebody has to go through something alone. And when you get out to the other side, your person, or even this could be a business partner, will be there. Something new, a new path. The supreme you guys will both be in your supreme energies you guys both went the extra mile with this mission you're stepping into with this path wow definitely career change promotions um moving up in the company I just heard company vehicle. Somebody could be signing a contract that's going to be coming with a car. Wow, the world. Yeah, somebody's definitely traveling the world. I even heard this new contract somebody's signing is going to come with flights as well. I'm seeing someone... 
with their third eye fully tapped in. Someone who's really creative. Taking a bath. You could be taking more baths lately or you're being called to take more baths. Get some roses. Put some rose petals in the water. Ooh, trust. Recycle. Intuition. Ooh, circling back around. Something's coming back around. Something's being recycled. It could be an idea. It could be something that you thought of before when you were a little bit more spontaneous. And I feel like you're thinking about it again. You're being called to stretch above your present circumstances and just trust that this... This creative idea, whatever you're being called to be curious about, whatever, you know, you're being called to just go. I'm hearing something really spontaneous. You being spontaneous is going to land you in the perfect position to accept these offerings, whatever it is. Look at that. Learn from the past. And apply it to creating your vision of the future. Resistance. We have two re's. That gives me retrograde vibes. Understanding why you resist what you have to do is a crucial part of the creative process. Wounds. We have wounds here. Withheld support from the past can cause low self-esteem that cripples action. <clears throat> So that's giving me the vibe of, you know, maybe a part of you was left behind in that tower moment. You see, like a lot of things, a lot of belongings, if it's not literal, you know, just parts of you. And I'm seeing someone create, you know, when you're in situations that involve trauma, you end up <clears throat> creating this survival tactics and this whole totally different personality that you needed to survive those situations so i'm feeling like this healing will assist you in calling all the parts of you back with this retro mercury retrograde coming back i feel like somebody could even be literally coming back from your past and this could be someone that really hurt you And maybe you're going to have the opportunity to share how you feel. Maybe they're they're wanting the opportunity to share how they feel about this situation. And I am hearing, you know, hear them out. It's going to provide a lot of healing. It's also going to allow you to make this final decision, you know, whether it's done or not, but I feel like it's done, but you're just going to be have a lot more clarity and closure, and so will this person. And this could be in regards to a new job or just new opportunities. We have the Ace of Pentacles again. It's like whatever this new path is, it's going to involve you <clears throat> tapping into your healing abilities even more than before. And I do feel like you being a healer, it's going to allow healing in this situation. Not just for you, but the person. And I've been hearing lately, when you leave somewhere, or someone, something, you leave it better than you found it. So even, you know, a career, a relationship, a home, leaving it better than you found it. Wow, the lover is definitely a deep soul connection. They're reminiscing about, they're reminiscing about this. But this could even be your person, your divine counterpart. 
reminiscing about you, trying to find a way to come into contact with you. But I feel like there's these blockages that someone has to let go of. Alright, I love you all. I hope, I trust you all have been well. And I trust that you all will have a beautiful night. This is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate if you want to book a personal reading. That information is found in the description box. Aloha.